Welcome to Farm Connections with your host, Dan Hoffman. Stay tuned as we get a commentary from Kent TC on country of origin labeling. Thank you, Dan. Mandatory country of origin labeling, or COOL, was initiated for U.S. meat products and other foods as part of the 2008 Farm Bill as a way to provide consumers with more information about certain food products. Now, a recent ruling by the World Trade Organization could challenge the future of COOL. Country of origin labeling was initially enacted to provide consumers more information about meat and their food products by labeling the origin of of the animal as well as where the animal was processed uh, gives the consumers assurance of where their products are from and also allows for more traceability if there are any issues with those food products. Under the COOL regulations, an animal that is born and raised and processed in the United States is labeled as born, raised, and slaughtered in the U.S. If that same animal were born and raised in Canada, it would be labeled as born and raised in Canada and slaughtered in the U.S. What this means for the food industry is that, that those animals need to be segregated and the products need to be labeled accordingly, which adds cost to the process. The countries of Canada and Mexico, which do a lot of export and import shipping back and forth with the United States, have claimed that this is not fair and uh, provides an economic disadvantage to products from their country. The World Trade Organization, which is basically the World Trade Court or referee, listened to the complaints by Canada and Mexico and for the third time has ruled in their favor. What this means, this frees the countries of Canada and Mexico uh, up to retaliate against the United States unless there are changes made to the COOL regulations. The retaliations most likely would be placing tariffs on certain important export products from the United States, such as beef, pork, cheese, uh, apples, possibly even corn and ethanol, and other products. Uh, exports are very important, especially to states like Minnesota. 32% of Minnesota exports go to Canada and 21% go to Mexico. The country of origin labeling regulation has not caused much stir in the retail food industry in the U.S. since its inception. However, the recent WTO ruling against COOL could greatly impact future export markets to Canada and Mexico for U.S. livestock, meat, and other products. There is much for Congress and the USDA to discuss, and it will be up to them and the administration to figure out what the next steps are for COOL. Thank you, this has been Kent Tesey, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks for joining us on Farm Connections.